Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. It's the 6th of May and we still don't have any news on the Warlords of Drain or Beta release. And with the 3 simply a month away, it's highly unlikely we're probably going to see it before uh, E3 comes out. So what we have to do is we have to sate our appetites for the new expansion by trawling through information coming from other sources. Today, I'm going to go through a few tweaks that have been made to the quest log. Now, I know that doesn't sound particularly interesting um but they are a few nice tweaks and uh, again it's another quality of life improvement but quickly on the subject of quality of life we're hearing plenty of quality of life changes for warlords of draenor what with the the way that loot's dropping with the way that uh, raiding's going to be done uh, the way that questing is now being streamlined and all this kind of jazz my only concern is i want to hear information on quality of improvements when it comes to content and this is something we're not hearing anything about. Yes, we've got our garrisons incoming, but what else is there? What else is there that's going to keep us uh, enthralled and interested for the brand new expansion? So hopefully at E3, we'll get a little bit more of that. However, however, let's go through a few of these uh, tweaks. So quests now um, have a nice little aesthetic change. No biggie there, but... What's going to happen now is you're going to have a main storyline uh, that's going to run through your leveling up. And it's going to be clearly demonstrated what your main storyline is. In this case here, we have this little reef and stuff around the uh, edges of this quest. And it tells you how many chapters are involved. There, In this case, there's seven chapters to complete uh, before you've done the full storyline in that zone. I think the 25 referred to the amount of achievement points that you would get once you've managed to do the full storyline storyline and if it is in seven parts one would hope that it's a little bit more engaging as opposed to simply going over there and uh, killing a couple of them killing a couple of them but these chapters could be broken up into different segments of questing as well hence why you get 25 experience points at the end of it maybe doing all the storyline quests will complete all the quests in the zone or complete a sufficient number of quests in the zone to uh, actually qualify for what the achievement would be. We also see as well that some quests have now got bonus objectives. In this case, we've got the frost walls to be thawed, and then we've also got some people to, to kill as well. Again, I don't want to presume or assume too much, asses, use me's, and all that kind of jazz, but I would hope that if you do complete the bonus objectives in the quests, that it would actually raise the amount of experience points that you would get. It would also raise uh, the potential gold value that you'd get from handing in that quest. That's why I think the boxes are almost looking as if they're interactive. I think they can actually change as opposed to uh, hard, flat, bang, done text. I think those boxes are there because they could um, be interchangeable. Also, of course, if that is the case, then the quest reward uh, also have the ability to be interchangeable. So by doing the quest objectives, does it raise the item level? Instead of getting, for argument's sake, a 5-5-5 five, five, five item uh, by completing the quest, you do the bonus objectives and that becomes a 5-5-8 five, five, uh, level item. Maybe, maybe not. The quest item may remain the same. Um, or it could simply change the reward that you get. In this case, if you uh, just overrun um, the ruin and you get the ring for doing so, but if you do the bonus uh, bonus objectives, maybe you get the ring and something else. Maybe you don't get the ring and you get shoulders or a weapon or something that may be considered of more use uh, to you as a questing player. So that's going to be intriguing to see how that does develop. Certainly a quality of life if it, if it does. More gold, more experience, uh, better quest rewards for investing that little bit more time and effort by completing everything in the zone. That will also lend itself, of course, to the people that love to complain. I don't have the time to do all this. You know, all those people that, that claim they have no time to do anything apart from all the time in the world. Um... They can just simply do the, the primary objective of the quest and bang through. 
and then of course after they've done that go to the forums and cry that because they didn't do the bonus objectives and didn't get the extra experience and rewards that's not fair and it should be all be and then blizz gives it to him and everything gets fucked up again but yeah, <laughs> that's how it could turn out so it is nice to see some quality of life uh changes when the questing log but i am desperate and i mean de i mean i'm talking like drinking 10 glasses of water and then going out and watching a river flow i am bursting uh to the seams at seeing some quality of life improvements with content actual content quality of content improvements never mind quality of life with content quality of content improvements and i sincerely hope we're going to get some information on that very shortly but as ever let me know what you think in the comments down below and i hope you enjoyed the vid please click the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter facebook and twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming and i shall be back with some more stuff very soon, you take care, everybody. Bye-bye.